Hi everybody. Uh, this video will demonstrate how to use some of the capabilities of Dynamic Website Builder along with the Beaver Builder to build a very nice little website in a matter of a few minutes uh, with very little effort. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Uh, the video is targeted those who are uh, new to Dynamic Website Builder and Beaver Builder although some of you seasoned DWB types uh, may be intrigued with just how powerful a combination Dynamic Website Builder and Beaver Builder can be. I should note that some of the features of uh, Beaver Builder shown in this video are available only in the paid version, either Standard, Pro, or Agency. A free light version of Beaver Builder is available from the WordPress plugin repository. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles as shown in the video, but there is enough to get some work done and get a really good idea of just how easy and powerful Beaver Builder can be, especially combined with Genesis and Dynamic Website Builder. So let's get started. Uh, this is a fresh install of uh, WordPress 4.0 uh, running on the Uniform server on a Windows 7 PC. Uh, I've already installed the latest versions of Genesis, Dynamic Website Builder, and Beaver Builder Pro. And there we go. Dynamic Genesis. And plugins. All I have here is Beaver Builder. I removed a Kismet and Hello Dolly, just for clarity's sake. What I've also done is uh, created three pages that are just blank pages, the title and nothing else. Uh, about contact I have the default theme setting and I'll show you that right now uh, which is content sidebar if we go and have a look at the home page I've set that up to use the full width with no sidebar and that's it. There's no other content uh, within any of the pages. I've also created uh, three additional posts uh, with featured images and I've set them to the draft mode for a specific reason. It's that I can show you this right now is what the site looks like with everything set the way it is. That is what you get when you install Dynamic Website Builder in Genesis into WordPress 4.0. Not much there, but we're going to change that really quickly in just a few minutes time. So a couple other things. Uh, go back to the settings, uh, reading, just to make sure that we're going to change our home page or front page displays the home page. I've created and we also want to have our permalink set to post name first thing we're going to do is to create the menu and I'll just use my favorite menu name name menu call it whatever you'd like and we'll set this to the primary navigation menu. We'll select all the pages and add them to the menu. And reorder things where we'd like. I'd like the contact at the end. And we'll save the menu. And let's go have a look and see what that looks like on the site. Click the refresh. Yeah, it's coming. There's our pages. Go back home. Great. 
but we're also going to have a blog on this site but we're not going to add it the normal way or the usual way where you would select this add to menu and put a category archive or a blog page on your site we're going to do it with beaver builder and i'm going to show you how to do that in just a second but we can set it up right now just so you know now that we've seen what the other one looks like without it so we're just going to add a page call it blog and on this one yeah we'll leave this default we'll have the sidebar and we'll publish that's it except that we have to add it to the menu now I thought I'd save that. Well, I guess I didn't. Oops, pages. You saw me hit, oh, it says draft. Uh, well, let's do a quick edit and make that published. Uh, where's my menu? Here we are. There it is. Add to menu. It'll be at the end, just the way we want it. So how is that looking? There it is. With nothing on it. Perfect. For now. So let's go ahead and set up the rest of the site or the theme uh, before we start getting into Beaver Builder and the page content. First thing I'd like to do is to add a logo. I'm going to go over here to Dynamic Design. I'm going to replace the text uh, in the heading or in the header uh, with a logo and you do that here in the header section. I'm not going to go through everything in here just what we need to do these items in dynamic. Uh, there are many excellent videos out there um, from Cobalt Apps uh, among others uh, that walk you through all the ins and outs of dynamic itself. For this video, we're going to go through only the items we need. So, select the logo type here. We'll come back over to Genesis theme settings and we'll change this from dynamic text to image logo. Save settings. Oh, while we're here, let's just go down and set the content archives to excerpts, include featured image, uh, and we'll, I'll put it medium, the line left, and save. So back to design, header, and we've changed that to uh, logo. Uh, you'll notice that I already have a logo here. So I'll hit save changes. But I'd just like to let you know that I put installed it here. And when you're using images within Dynamic Website Builder for in the header, backgrounds, or anything. Uh, within dynamic you have to upload them here for them to become available anytime you see a choice where you can select uh, image for a, a selector it has to be uploaded here so we already have one I've chosen the file selected it and uploaded and you'll see it's 430 pixels wide by 100 pixels high but if you look at the header dimensions for the uh, title area, you will see that its default is 400. So that's going to clip it a bit. So let's change it to 440, giving it some 10 pixel wiggle room. We'll save that. And let's go have a look at the front of the site now. There it is. It's coming along. My eyes are getting a little tired in their old age. 
Uh, so I'm going to crank up the uh, text size for the menu items just by changing the main font size right there. And uh, that'll make it a little easier for my tired old eyes to see. So there we go. So you can spend all day long just on the menu <laughs> tweaking that, but I digress. Next thing we want to do is to add uh, a footer area or a fat footer area which contains some widgets. And here we are, fat footer, easy widget areas. I'm going to check this to add them to all our pages, posts, archives, blog. And I'm going to select the three columns for this. So let's save our changes and see what that looks like. Refresh. There we go. Coming along, but the background is just a tad light. It's hard to see the contrast. So I'm going to change that. Right here, fat put a container wrap background. Um, there's a different things you can add, but right now, let's just change that to something like C, 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 C. I like putting all six in. Why not? So let's go have a look. Ah, that's easier to see. So let's go and put something in those fat quarter areas. Just so that we can see that there's something there. Uh, let's put pages in there. Uh, recent posts in there. Uh, put those up. I still like dragging as opposed to selecting from the thing called the old fashioned. What else? Custom menu. Recent comments. How about that? For there. So let's go take a look. There we go. There's our three fat footer areas, widget areas populated with something. And while we're on widgets let's get something into the primary sidebar uh, so that we can see that there's something there in the sidebar otherwise it won't show so refresh ah great as you can see there's nothing on the home page and there's it is on the other three pages coming along So one other thing I'd like to do is to turn off the page title for home, just for this page. Now if you go to pages and hover over the home, you can see down in the bottom left there that the post ID is 39 for the home page. So we can go over to dynamic settings, general settings, and we don't want to remove them all, just the specific ones. So just 39. Save changes. Come back. And there it is, gone. Perfect. Okay. That's pretty much it for the theme for right now. So let's go ahead and dive right into Beaver Builder. So we'll go to Pages, Home. Now you can select it directly from here, or go to the page at Text Editor and select it right there. Now with the commercial versions, you'll have these layout templates available to you. Otherwise, you just end up with a blank page. So for this uh, demo, I'm going to select uh, one that I'm kind of used to using is the Appify uh, template. So just select that. And there it is. And that's it for that. If I hit Done, Publish Changes, go back and refresh the front of the site, there you have it, ready to go. And I'll just show you here right now. If you do it this way, 
other than the logo, uh, it is fully responsive. Right out of the box, just like that. Now that was easy. Do you know how much work that would be to do it the usual way? So let's go back and just have a look around there on what you can actually do. Here are the uh, four areas uh, for the layout items in Beaver Builder. So we have the various uh, row layouts, one to six columns, the sidebars, left, right, or both, uh, the basic modules, the heading mod module, photo is basically the image widgets, widget. Uh, and then some uh, separator text editor, that's the WordPress text editor. You can drag and drop wherever you'd like it, and video. So there's another plugin you don't need. Uh, you get into the advanced modules accordion, button, call to action, call out, contact form. It's a nice little quick and easy contact form. Contact content slider and well you can read them I don't need to read them to you uh, as you can see you get <laughs> quite a few uh, modules or items that are would be additional required plugins and then of course you can drag and drop any of your uh, widgets that you have uh, in your WordPress widget area so we'll just go take a look at some of these uh, if you'll notice, the text on this one is kind of hard to read, so we'll go and uh, edit that. Uh, select the text and change it to white. And as you can see, this is changing it uh, as you do it, basically, on the front end of the site. Um, right here, the callouts. Here's another handy little one. It shows you uh, what you can do here. Uh, of course, the editor, styles, how you like that done. Image, you want to replace it? Let's replace it with uh, what we're talking about. Uh, WordPress. I'll just go back there for a second. You can see this fairly nice little set of uh, icons to start from or with. Uh, so there's ours, and if we just scroll down, you can see that's changed already. Um, let's make WordPress just a little bit bigger because it's important. And there it is bigger. And let's make it as close as I can get without really looking at the hex value uh, to a blue. Eh, it might be a little dark, but oh well. We'll get the idea. That's purple. Heck, we can move closer to that. Let's get bluer. You can see how you can spend all day just doing this, tweaking around. And there it is. That easy. Uh, call to action. Well, let's do that. Add a button. This is something that <laughs> gets done quite often on sites. Uh, oh boy, buy now. Although you don't buy WordPress, but just to get the idea. And background, button, color, ooh, how about just for now? Sure. Sounds good. And that's all there is to that. And of course, all these are the same way. You, If you get one styled the way you like it, uh, with all the padding and margins, uh, buttons set up, and you want to duplicate them, it's just a matter of going duplicate and then dragging it to wherever you'd like it. And that's how easy it is. Don't like it there? Well, just delete it. Okay. And hit done. Publish changes. Go and look at the front of our site. Now you've seen that's changed, and there we have your updated callout.
it is that easy. So let's just go through um, adding the other pages. Uh, let's go to the uh, about page directly in the page builder. And it also comes with content pages predefined. And you can create your own templates here too, by the way. As you can see, I haven't saved any yet. Uh, but right now I'm going to use theirs. I'm just going to select it and save it. And back here, pages, contact. Go directly into page builder. Same thing. There is a nice little business contact form uh, with uh, info. Uh, Google Map. Um, that's not where I am right now. Let's change that. Oops. And there it is. It's just quite that easy. And next one is our blog. And that's why I wanted to create some extra ones because we're going to use a, a built-in feature called the blog grid, which doesn't look like much, does it? That's good. So let's just save it. It's got our own your poor old hello world, but we know why that is because we didn't turn on the other whoops, the other three posts so let's uh, edit those and we want to change your status to published now if we go and look at our blog page we're seeing that doesn't look like much, where is the grid? Looks like a normal feed. Uh, we'll just wait. If I can get back there. Here we go. So back into page builder. And let's go check the settings. There must be a setting that's causing some trouble. And it's not really trouble. It depends on your site. But the default post spacing is 60 pixels. Which is quite a bit. So... Let's narrow that down to 20. And there you go. Just like that. Now you know I just save it and there it would be on the front. But I want to show you one other thing with this. And on a couple of sites, I have needed this feature. And there's plugins that let you do it. But... I was always wondering why don't they have this built into the core for the times that you need it because you just go like that and save and now you have it in ascending order just like that and on the front and there you go now let's go have a look at our post there it is and back to the site so that's pretty much it in a nutshell as they say uh, that's not a bad looking little website in what less than 30 minutes I got 24.09 on my clock in Camtasia but anyways um, that's it for now and I'll be posting some more here later on okay thanks for watching bye bye